everyone, Sophie here. So today I am so excited to show you how to make your very own moisturizing face and body potent vitamin C serum. Okay, I have been dying to do this video. It's so funny because it's kind of been on my calendar for so long and I've had the supplies and I've just got sidetracked and done so many nutritional uh, food videos that I just never got around to it and finally I'm doing it today and I'm actually doing it through necessity because I want to use this and I ran out of the one that I had experimented with and it's like okay I have to make some more so here I am in my kitchen and I'm going to show you step by step how to make what I consider to be one of the best DIY vitamin serums ever. Now just a quick little bit of background on me. Um, so I made my first DIY vitamin C serum probably eight or nine years ago on YouTube. I was kind of early YouTube and vitamin C serum adopter and um, it is one of my most viewed videos ever and then since then I've done various kind of updates and improvements and the deluxe vitamin C serum and the uh, vitamin C serum moisturizer you can look at all those they're all still on my channel um, but it's kind of interesting because looking back the hair is extremely concerning in some of my earlier videos number one and number two back way back when when I made my very first one we didn't have the ingredients to hand that we now have or there wasn't the accessibility and i remember going through maybe two or three years trying to source water soluble vitamin c powder and it was almost impossible back then unless you were a chemist or or a formulator you know a proper like you know um formulator of a big brand and um, so I would use really, really natural ingredients such as camu camu powder and, and uh, rosehip seed oil, but the camu camu powder didn't end up working very well. Although it's extremely high in vitamin C, it didn't because it's really sticky on the skin and it doesn't dissolve properly. So if you are one of those um, early adopters of my channel and my vitamin C serum and you bought all the ingredients, I've had so many comments for that. It's just like use your camu camu powder in a smoothie. It is an amazing superfood and get with the new version, which is what I'm going to teach you today. So now I'm going to tell you why I am doing this particular version and a body serum. Primarily, it is actually, I'm, I'm formulating it as a body serum. Serum. but as I was creating the description to the video and writing my blog because I always write a blog for every video I realized that everyone's gonna say well why can't I use this on my face and of course you can use it on your face um, I'm making it in a larger bottle than I usually do because um, it's for the body and I want it to last all week long generally speaking with your vitamin C serums you want to make very small amounts and make them often because vitamin C or L ascorbic acid which is what we're using is uh, very unstable it degrades extremely quickly and I am putting a little preservative in this one uh, that I'm going to show you today an all-natural preservative but uh, nonetheless the fresher the better but I'm using a four ounce bottle because it's a serum now I want to tell you why what motivated me to make this so two things mainly uh, a few uh, probably a couple of years ago I remember doing uh, posting a video I think it was from a TV show that I was on and I was showing how to do something random I don't know what and I was wearing a sleeveless dress and as people, there are obviously some quite unkind people on the internet, but this lady um, made a comment, uh, a very nasty comment saying, you know, I can't believe, your face is, your skin on your face is completely different to the face on your arms. And the face on your arms looks like really old. And I was like, oh, I read that comment. And I mean, you know what? It, it's a bad comment, a nasty comment is hurtful anyway, but obviously if you're like me and you put your videos out there, you just kind of got to brace yourself for that sort of stuff anyway. And most of the time I've developed quite a 
thick, <laughs> mature, <laughs> literally skin. But that did hurt actually, I'm gonna be honest. I was just like, oh, it was in the gut because, and it hurt because I knew it to be true. Because I would look at my videos and go, you know, I'd look at my close-ups of me doing stuff with my hands and go, oh my God, look at all those kind of brown spots and age spots and, you know, so, the truth is, she was right, but it really hurt, and, and maybe she didn't need to say it in such a nasty way. Also, the other thing was that I went to my dermatologist recently uh, for a full body check, because I'm fair, blue eyes, blah, blah, I have to have my skin checked regularly. And she said, wow, she said, you've done a really, really great job with your face. And she was, you know, looking, obviously, with no makeup on, and stark naked and everything. She said, your skin on your face is amazing. And she didn't say, but the skin on your arms and your chest isn't, but she said, um, but you know, I can see that you know that there is a little bit of sun damage. Not too bad, but there is a bit. And I said, yes, I know, and I'm really committed now that I'm going to start taking care of my arms and my chest, my skin on my body, uh, as well or as much as I can afford to be do it as well on my uh, as I do it on my face. So that's my commitment to myself, and that's why I'm doing this body serum, and I'm doing it in a bigger bottle. And the added thing that I wanted to quickly tell you is. I couldn't afford to buy an effective vitamin C serum to slather all over my arms and my chest and even my lower legs, which is what I intend to do with this, because it would run out so quickly, I literally couldn't afford it, even the less expensive ones. So the great thing about this is that I'm going to show you how to make it for really considerably less than anything that you could ever buy in a store, and that makes it affordable for me to take care of um, you know, the skin on my body as well, the skin on my face. So, um, yeah, I and mean, you'll probably have seen, listen guys, you'll see when I do the video, I'm gonna come in close to my hands, you're gonna see the, you know, little age spots on my arms and my hands, and it just, just doesn't look like the best skin ever. Um, so hopefully you'll see an improvement in a few months time when I start using this religiously. Have I got anything else to say before we get started? Because I'm gonna show you the ingredients. It's really quick and easy to make. You've gotta stay along to the end because I'm gonna give you some storage tips and how to use tips and, Oh yeah, one other thing that I need to say is that vitamin C is, uh, it, there are many different forms of vitamin C. And once you start Googling on the internet, you can Google yourself crazy because everybody's gonna say something different and have different ingredients and a different take on it. Um, I've created a formula here that really works for me, both strength-wise and all the other ingredients texture-wise. Um, and in the blog that I'll put the link to underneath the video, I'm going to do a little bit more detail about the, um, the uh, what am I trying to say, concentration. Here's the really basic thing that, that you need to understand, is that L-ascorbic acid is the form of vitamin C that is the most studied, there is evidence-based um, science and studies to prove uh, that it works, you know, for sun damage and building collagen and all the things that we use vitamin C for. There is scientific evidence. But this is with um, L-ascorbic acid. Uh, yes, it's synthetic, and most of the forms that you're going to use in DIY skincare are, unless, of course, you use, like I said, camu camu, which you don't want to use. Um, uh, but l acid is the most potent and the most powerful. So if you really, really want to, you know, make some difference, see visible, uh, visible difference, then that's the form that you need to use. However, there's two big howevers with l ascorbic acid. It is very unstable, as I've already said, so you need to use it, make it, use it up, and make it again. I'll explain to you how often you need to do that um, because you don't want it to go... Um, rancid or really to oxidize and I'll show you also how to tell if it's oxidized or not um, and the other thing that you need to know is that you it really depends with l acid the strength um, that is right for you it depends on your skin type and so some people have said oh you should never use vitamin or you know the l acid is too powerful for your skin but again Listen very carefully, there's a very fine line. It can be if your skin is sensitive and if the concentration is too high, 
it is too much and you need to dial down the concentration. So you could have 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. I'm showing you today how to make 20% because that is what I use. My skin is fine with it. But if you have sensitive skin or you're new to using it, you might have to dial back on the L-ascorbic acid so that it's, it's so that it's, it, it doesn't um, irritate your skin. Basically, it's irritation. Um, it's not going to dramatically harm it, but it might irritate it and you don't really want that to happen. Um, also, the one other contra contraindication is if you have very, uh, very sensitive inflamed skin, like in the sense if you have rosacea or broken skin or eczema or psoriasis or whatever, then I do not recommend using l acid or this serum at all. It's just too much for you. But any other normal skin, I think you're going to be good to use it. Let's get started. So I'm going to first go through the equipment that you'll need, and then I'm going to go through the ingredients. So let's do the equipment first. Turn that camera a little bit. Okay, so this is what you need. Um, I am using a blender today. For this recipe, because I'm using hyaluronic acid, I think a blender works really well. I'm using my Nutribullet. If you don't have one, you could use a whisk. But this makes it a whole lot easier. Trust me, I've tried both. Uh, you will just need a little um, mixing bowl. I'm just using a little porcelain measuring cup. I have a funnel, which you don't have to use, but it makes it easier to transfer it into the bottle. And I have a four ounce dark glass bottle. You can, I'll put a link to these under where you can buy them from. Any dark glass, you could use amber glass or cobalt blue glass. And you could use a dropper or um, a spray. But again, because this is for my body, I'm choosing to use the spray. Um, but either works, and if it gets too thick, because we're gonna play around a little bit with hyaluronic acid, to make it moisturizing, you might be better off with a dropper or just a cap and, and just pouring it into your hand. Now, the most important thing about the equipment, the bottle, the top, the um, blender cup, and anything that your, your uh, ingredients are going to touch, you need to sterilize them. So what I did was before this video, I put them um, in a really big bowl and I boiled a kettle of super hot, like boiling water and poured it over, poured it in here, poured it over the blade, made sure that everything came in contact for, you know, a minute or so with uh, boiling water. Uh, then I got it out, I air dried it and everything is sterilized and sanitized and we're good to go. Fantastic. Let's talk about the ingredients now. Okay. Now, now I'm self-conscious because I've told you about my hands and I'm like, oh my God, they're looking at my hands going, oh, look, at, look, can you see all those little spots and on my arms? And that is not the case on my face because I've been using vitamin C serum and all those other ingredients that I recommend for many, many years. Okay, so first ingredient, vitamin C L ascorbic acid powder. And there's a couple of brands that I like. Uh, I'll put links to those to a couple of brands underneath the video. But it, whatever brand you use, it's got to be water soluble. Next up, I have hyaluronic acid powder, and that's because we're going to make this into a moisturizing uh, serum. Uh, then I have some ferulic acid, which is a very powerful antioxidant, and it will help your vitamin C from oxidizing. So that's the magic ingredient. Those, that's the magic duo that you want. I'm using rose water because I love the smell. The scent of it is beautiful and it uh, is also moisturizing for the skin. You could just use distilled water. That is your choice. I'm using vegetable glycerin, just a little bit. And then I have a natural preservative um, Lucidal liquid, and I'll put a link to that underneath the video. So that's it for the ingredients. Let's get going and make it. Okay, so first off, I'm taking my rose water and I'm putting in half a cup. So it would either be that or half a cup of distilled water. Okay, 
Actually, I need a tiny bit more because I wasn't using an exact um, half cup. Right, so to half a cup of uh, that, I am adding four teaspoons of L-ascorbic acid powder. One, two. You can see I'm not completely exact with all this, um, but I've been making it for so long that it's kind of like making soup for me. All right, so that's that. So we've got four in there. Now we're gonna add four, so the equal amount of ferulic. One, two, three, slightly smaller jar, three, and four. You see, you're gonna have enough left in if you get these small jars to make a bunch of this. So the upfront cost is not what your bottle is gonna cost, uh, which is really good news. Now, the next thing that I'm going to put in is one teaspoon of veggie glycerin. And I'm doing one teaspoon um, because I don't want it too sticky. Some recipes that I've seen call for a lot more and it gives it a nice sort of um, slickish feel uh, for your serum. But again, there's a fine line. If it's too much, the slick becomes sticky, which I don't like on my skin uh, since you're leaving it on your skin, basically. Now, the next thing that I'm going to put in is a preservative, which is these Lucidal uh, liquid drops. And to this, I am going to put in about 60 drops. Oh, the little plastic thing dropped in there. Wait a minute, I've got to fish this out. Oh, 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 oh. The little top went in there. Okay, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that is 60, or as good as. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Now, finally, I'm gonna be adding some hyaluronic acid. Now, you will have heard of this ingredient probably. It's in almost every moisturizing cream or lotion. And it's um, a humectant, which means that it attracts and boins, boins, binds moisture to your skin. So I really, really like this as an ingredient for this serum. Uh, but it can really thicken your serum and uh, a little bit too much. So you have to be very careful how much you put in and it thickens over a couple of hours. So I'm going to pop in just half a teaspoon into this particular formulation. And you can play with your hyaluronic acid because if you think, oh, you know, this is something that I want to have, um, you know, I want it to be a little bit thicker and, and to have... Um, more to, to just have a thicker consistency then you might want to put in a little bit more so just play with it and see but the moment it goes into that liquid it will start um attracting all that moisture and almost becoming like a thick gel so you want to work quite quickly here so i'm now screwing on the uh top to my blender and let me move the camera a little bit here so you can see clearly what is going on? I'm just going to move up. Yep. Okay, we can see. And there we go. So I'm just going to blend it up. Oh, that would help. No, my blender is turned on. Come on. So that's what it looks like right now. That is the consistency of it, but because of that hyaluronic acid, the moment it goes into my bottle, it is going to start thickening up, which is good. That's exactly what I want it to do because that's too liquidy for me at this point. So now I'm gonna take my bottle and I'm going to unscrew that. It makes it honestly so much easier if you make it with a blender. It really does because when you use a whisk, you can do it with a whisk, 
But I will say that what is going to happen is that the hyaluronic acid starts sort of binding to the whisk and you have to work so quickly. It can be a little um, daunting. And then now that's just going to go in to my bottle. Can you see how some of it, well, you might not be able to see, is a little bit thicker because already that hyaluronic acid is at work thickening away. And now I'm going to screw the top on. I'm going to give it a really good shake. And what I will do is I'm going to put that in the refrigerator uh, for a couple of hours. And then when it comes out of the refrigerator, I'm going to give it a really, really good shake because for the next couple of hours, while it's in the refrigerator, again, it is going to thicken even more. And then I'll be ready to use it. Okay, that's it. Here's my serum out of the fridge, ready to go. You do not have to keep it in the fridge because we have that little preservative in there. But I do recommend using this four ounce bottle up within two weeks and just make some more, uh, probably maximum three weeks. You can tell if it's oxidized because if you pour a little bit out, it will have gone a kind of yellowy color. Um, and you don't want that. Uh, right now, when I spritz it on my arm, it is uh, a, a, it's white, basically. It's a sort of clear, opaque, whitish color. It's got a wonderful, wonderful texture. I'm very happy with it. Uh, you can also get these little pH strips. I'll link to these underneath the video to dip into your serum to see if it is the correct pH. And rather than go into all of that now, which is a little bit too complicated for this video, all the details, the recipe as well, are in the link to the blog that I've written about this underneath this video. I just thought it would be easier to put all of that information in one handy place for you. But go ahead, have a go, make this face and body serum. I think it's going to be a life changer for so many of you. And if you have any comments or uh, questions or anything else, just leave them underneath the video. Do check out all my other videos and blogs and whatnot on uh, DIY skincare, because it's something that I have always loved doing. It's like a major, major hobby of mine when I'm not in my kitchen cooking. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are hundreds more. And please also visit my blog at sophieuliano.com for detailed reviews, recipes, DIYs, and more.